We're just at the uh, top of our property, so on our boundary line if you like, and there's our top dam and just along this track here is the adit that Rick and his mate Brian have been exploring. We're going for a walk. So the track's mostly used by wildlife now. But years ago, I imagine it was well used by miners. Yeah. The recent rain, it's been quite wet. So much so that no one could go in. Rick and Brian took some rock out of here two days ago just to see if there's anything of interest. How far does this tunnel go in, Rick? Oh, probably. 20 or 30 metres. Mm -hmm. One of our better samples we took actually comes from this spot here. There's the, the roof there, that bit there. So between here and the entrance to the mine was, wasn't too bad. So we've obviously taken a fair bit of rock out from here. And we turn the corner. Shine it back a bit this way, please. You filming? Yes. <laughs> Lots of rocks How's and I that? can't see where my feet are going. Okay. It's quite wet in here now. Yeah. Can I move? Do I need to go up there? Yeah, keep coming. Take that light all right there. You're still yeah. filming? Yeah. Hang on. No, 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 no. Turn around. It's so dark. So this is where it ends. Okay. So in initially I thought... Just shut it down a little. I thought there'd been a cave in, uh, but Brian reckons that it was um, backfilled from above. Hmm. What we've done is, as our samples went further into the mine, there was less and less gold, and there was more arsenopyrites, mm -hmm. uh, which basically mean we couldn't get the gold out of it. So I expect the miners have the same issue. Closer to the surface, there's more free gold. So they've stopped digging from underneath, backfilled and come in from the top. Down here, uh, that's the remnants of the last claim jumper. Huh. You want back? Possibly. So it's a bit stinky down here, it's not mm. too bad. So this is where we took our, our last sample from, this little outcrop of quartz. And uh, we actually got some good gold out of it, and quite chunky stuff. So we're gonna just take this bit out here and run it through the mill and see what we can get out of that. Hmm. Be interesting. Mm. So there's actually no timbers or anything in here, it's all just a tunnel in the bedrock. So 
so glad it's still holding up. So now we're standing directly above where the ad is, and I reckon this is where they've backfilled and uh, worked from the surface down. So we've moved a fair bit of dirt, Deb having a spell. It's a little bit hard to see with all the scrub. So right up the end here, they actually did go back underground again. But with the last lot of rain, the entrance has been covered up, but it wouldn't take a lot to uncover it. But it only goes probably another 10 metres at most. So we'll just head back up the hill a bit more. So this is further up the hill again. So we're tunnelled in here from the surface and there's actually not I don't think there's an ad it there they were just basically digging a big trench so we're a little bit further up and they're still working from the surface at this stage with quite a large trench actually just had to move a stick sorry And then we go underground again. So I definitely chasing the reef all the way up. So we're further up the hill now, on the other side of where that tunnel was. And they've gone back to working it from the surface again for some reason. Why they, why they tunneled that little bit, we really don't know. There wasn't a lot of rock to cut out. But I'm guessing they knew more about it than me. So this is as far as we've come. And it doesn't look like the miners worked any higher than this on this reef. Uh, this should give you some idea of the, the slope we've just come up. Lots of big boulders and stone up here. So whether that was enough for them to call it quits, I don't know. And on the way up, we spotted these hyacinth orchids which are native to this area a little bit past their best but still pretty cool so this is the rock that we took our first sample from so this is up above the, the adit where they tunnelled and went back in underground again. All the rest of the samples were taken from inside the adit.